Hi. Hi, how's it going? Welcome to Metal Rules TV. I'm here with Jeff DeHart from The Burning. And what's scarier, Cropsy or Jason Alexander's hair? Uh, well, I think Jason's Alexander's hair. Yeah, he had hair in that movie. Right. Yeah, like he actually had hair. That's how long ago that was. I didn't want to get it in there. <laughs> um, what's scarier, the movies you've done or South Jersey? <laughs> Is that fair to ask when we're in South Jersey? <laughs> yeah. We're from South Jersey. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I'm from South Jersey, too, so I can uh, add this. I'd have to say the burning was scarier. <laughs> Do you have any words of inspiration for the sad people who dress up in these things? Uh, well, actually, they dress probably better than most of the people in American Idol right now, so I think they look okay. It is scary, though, isn't it? I've been taking more pictures than they've been taking of us. Oh, uh, yeah. It's a good idea. I think it is, you know, the wife's not going to believe this. <laughs> You know, actually, one time I did a uh, science fiction convention. I was at, I was at, I wasn't in it. I was doing stand-up comedy. Right. And they were, and everybody was dressed in all these costumes. And a friend of mine, we were on an elevator, and he asked one guy, he says, "Who are you supposed to be?" And the guy got insulted. He said, "I'm Zorbot from the planet Nebula." You, mean, you don't know? Get into it. What's your favorite story about an <laughs> Like the animal. Right, yeah. <laughs> you know, I, 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 in all my years in show business, I've never gotten to a demeanor. So I can't really have that description. But that was a good question. <laughs> you caught me off guard with that one. What's your most heavy metal moment? <laughs> oh, I'll give, you a, well, I'll give you a close to heavy metal moment. Years ago, I got invited to do stand-up comedy at a, at a birthday party on the Queen Mary for two 17-year-old twin boys, back when punk rock was big. Yeah. And one of the kids was a punk rocker and had punk rock friends and a punk rock band. The other kid was collegiate, had a collegiate friends and a rock and roll band. And when I got to the uh, thing, they put me on in between. But each of them hated each other. But when I got on, they all got together and hated me. So that's as close as it was. Are you honored to appear on Metal Rules TV? Why? <laughs> oh, it, it, listen, of all the things I've ever done, this this is the highlight. <laughs> I hope I can get a reel of this. If you guys can send me, send me a thought with you. We definitely can. We can definitely send it to you online. So. Sounds good. Okay. Do you have anything to promote? Anything to plug? Well, let's see. Well, I, I, I do a lot of look-alike uh, work. Uh, one of the things I do is Ed Sullivan. I work with the Beatle group of that work. Okay. You and Ed, and a show called A Really Big Shoe, if that's ever in your neck of the woods. And you're gonna see also do a lot of rock and roll doo-wop shows as Ed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Look out for that. Uh, well, thanks. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.